Uh, this is from William Churchill, the Director of Pharmacy Services at the Brigham. Uh, the commitment is to improve the qual overall quality and safety of the preparation and testing of compounded sterile products in the pharmacy department. Uh, again, the Brigham is about an 800-bed hospital in Boston with 8.5 million doses in dispensed medication per year and about 1.2 million are IV admixtures. And remember, the Farber uh, uh, is part of the Brigham, so a tremendous amount of oncology work included in that 1.2 million. Uh, Bill cites the background for this commitment that he's made as uh, the, 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 the literature clearly articulating the problems and incidents of errors related to compounding. Uh, this was heightened for us by the devastating crisis uh, 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 in New England uh, referenced there. And, and of course, the background of uh, USP 797 uh, regulations. And so Bill uh, has committed, and I sat with him on Wednesday as he two-finger typed this commitment into the Massimo website, uh, to create the sterile uh, uh, product uh, Rome of the Future, a process he's well into, and uh, 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 the commitment is there. He has approached it from a multifaceted point of view. IV robotic compounding devices and other technology to manage uh, pharmacy IV room compounding workflow. Uh, the hiring uh, on a permanent basis of an on-site uh, highly qualified microbiologist uh, for the quarantining and testing program uh, and uh, to uh, increase uh, the percentage of gravimetric accurate testing of each compounded product, basically calculate the specific gravity of, uh, uh, of each finished solution and other technologies that can even optically detect the drug and the concentration uh, to uh, uh, dispense. And uh, the, I won't go through the details of the status. They're uh, tremendously far along into it. The specific goal is to drive the gravimetric assessment up from 60 to 85 percent by the end of the, of the year that we've uh, just started. And again, they too have done a wonderful job publishing their results. And the article reference is in the lower left-hand corner of the screen uh, by Sager et al. Uh, from an oncology practice, the impact of robotic antineoplastic preparation on safety workflow uh, and costs. And uh, again, so I'm proud to, uh, to, to represent Partners Healthcare with these two commitments and uh, honored to be here. Thank you. Thank you.